solving for missing angles. Now, in this example here, we're talking about solving for missing angles when we have vertically opposite angles. Now, vertically opposite angles are formed when two lines intersect one another. So for example, this angle A here would be vertically opposite to this angle here. And B would be vertically opposite with the angle on this side, the 20 degrees. Now, what we know about vertically opposite angles, they are congruent. If you don't remember, congruent means equal. Therefore, if I have to solve this problem where I need to solve angle A equals, if I know it's vertically opposite with 160, that means that these two are equal. So angle A measures 160 degrees because They are vertically opposite angles. Now, if I have to solve for the missing angle B, angle B will be equal to, if it's vertically opposite with this angle on this side, it'll be 20 degrees because They are vertically opposite angles. It is always important to justify your answer as to how you solved for each angle.